morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time you're watching this, I hope you're having a lovely day. So today, I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't, but I am currently sat in Aldi car park um, because I am about to go and do a shop. Um, I've got my, my bags in hand. Not everything that I show you is going to be like what I buy necessarily, but I thought I would go around and just kind of show you the um, low calorie stuff that they've got. Um, I will include the sin value of things as well, just because I think that can be useful. So I just kind of thought that I'd take you around Aldi with me. And I sort of had an idea that maybe I could do like a, a little bit of a tour de supermarket rather than the tour de France um, and go around different supermarkets and just kind of find their low calorie stuff and see, see what I can find basically. So if you would like to say that, then you know, give it a thumbs up. And also let me know what shop that you would like me to go to next because obviously I predominantly shop in Aldi but yeah let me know what shop you go to or what supermarket you go to and uh, yeah I will work my way through them all um, and just kind of compare their low calorie stuff. So yeah I've got my um, bags so without further ado let's just crack on and get into Aldi. I need to get over this fear of vlogging in public so Let's just do it. So we are entering the motherland that is Aldi. So over the next 10 minutes or so, I'm just gonna be covering low calorie items that I've found in Aldi. So buckle in, grab a pen and paper. Some of it's gonna go quite quickly because I am actually covering 83 different items. So yeah, let's get started. So first thing I'm picking up is some mango chunks. These are one of my favorite things to snack on. They are free foods. Um, and then I've got some blueberries, which are speed food, another great snack. And I also top my uh, yogurt with these. Some strawberries as well. This is just the basics that I generally pick up on a weekly basis. I then picked up some bananas, which are free food. Again, I usually top things like yogurt with these. I then picked up some grapes. Why I picked the middle one out of the three, I don't know, very frustrating to watch back. But yeah, these are free food. I did want to pick up some raspberries as well, but they were all going out of date that day. So just decided to give them a miss for this week. And then I've got some baby leaf salad. This is just generally what I add to the side of most of my meals, um, just to get that little bit of speed food in. And then I also went back and picked up a bistro salad, just so that I've got something a little bit different. Same, same thing, but different, you know what I mean. Next, I've picked up an avocado. Now, these are seven sins for half of one, but I just love having them on the top of a bagel. Very basic, I know, but, you know, I just love it. Um, I also picked up some cherry tomatoes. These are speed food, and I have very recently started liking tomatoes. So, yeah, I picked up some of them. The turkey Twizzlers. Now, these are two sins per Twizzler, or 40 calories. Seen some mixed reviews on them, but they looked... It looks all right. Um, picked up a big two kilogram pack of chicken just so that I can portion it out and freeze most of it. Got some bacon medallions as well, the uh, reduced fat ones. Now I've ended up picking up some chicken chipolata sausages just because the usual ones that I buy are being discontinued. And that's the skinny pork sausages. Very frustrating. And at the time I didn't find any alternatives. The chicken chipolatas are only 48 calories each and once in each. So I picked up some codfish fingers, which I've never had before. And they are only 83 calories per finger or three sins each. They also had some haddock fillets, which looked quite nice. So I am obsessed with this cheese and chive dip. It is only 172 calories for 50 grams or three and a half cents per tablespoon. And the sour cream dip is 171 calories for 50 grams or two and a half cents for a tablespoon. Now the satsuki dip, oh my God, absolute favorite dip. And it is only 49 calories for 50 grams and only half a cent. Now these sausages, they're the masala sausages. They're only 43 calories or half a cent per sausage. Great if you're vegan. And they also do the red pepper and butternut squash ones which are 49 calories and one and a half sin. I've also picked up some ham. Now this is only 35 calories per slice and is sin free. 
and then I've had a look at the chicken tikka slices. This is 111 calories for 80 grams or two and a half cents for the whole pack. They also did different flavors, so the Mexican chicken ones. They also had um, curried coconut and lime slices and hot and spicy chicken slices. I picked up some Nord pack, which is 52 calories per 10 grams and one and a half cents per teaspoon. I then moved on to milk. I usually get skimmed milk. Um, which is 350 mils for your healthy A or 122 calories. Next I found these rice cake bars. Now the orange one is only 92 calories or four and a half sins. There's me dropping them very embarrassingly in the shop. Pick them up. But the chocolate ones are 93 calories and four and a half sins as well. They do also have quite a lot of kind of flatbread type things. These multi-seed thins are 46 calories and 2 cents each. They also have the cheddar ones which are 29 calories and 1.5 and cents each. And then they also have some sesame crisp breads which are 38 calories and you can actually have 4 of them for your healthy bee. Next we have some crackers. Now the multi-grain and the wheat crackers are both around 20 calories and they are only 1 cent each. Now these are Aldi's answer to Jammy Dodgers, they are the Jammy Wheels mini bags, they are 87 calories per bag and only 4.5 sins. I also saw these Viennese fingers which are only 64 calories and 3 cents each, I thought they would be good for dunking in a cup there. So Jaffa Cakes are probably my absolute favourite, these are 52 calories or 2.5 cents each. I couldn't buy these because I definitely wouldn't be having just one of them, the whole box would be gone in seconds. These are a little bit like Milky Ways, they are 73 calories and 3.5 cents each. Next I picked up a Texas barbecue beef brisket which I have had before and it is so nice. This is 343 calories for half of the pack or two and a half sins. Next I found these soups which I thought would be good for taking to work with you, something on the go. So the tomato and basil one is 232 calories or six sins. The country vegetable is 234 calories or three and a half sins. And the chicken is 200 calories, four and a half sins. And this is for the whole pot. Another thing I found which I thought might be nice for work is this chow mein. It is 343 calories, however it does come in at 10 sins and that is for the whole pack. These cheese triangles are 36 calories and you can have three for your healthy A. Next I picked up some Greek yogurt. This is only 62 calories per 100 grams and is sin free on Slimming World. Next I picked up some of the Quick Sew Sage and Onion Stuffing. I use this for my Sunday roast. It's 52 calories for 45 grams or two and a half sins per stuffing ball made up. I then picked up some baked beans as well, which is sin-free on Slimming World or 195 calories for half of the can. I then also picked up some mushy peas from my fish and chips. These are 112 calories for half a can and they are also sin-free. So these crispy fries are 73 calories or three and a half sins per bag. They also do have the cheese curls, which are 80 calories and four sins per bag. Next you will know that I am an absolute sucker for this and it is the Beanies Coffee. This is the hot cross bun flavour. It is two calories per cup and sin free. My absolute favourite is the chocolate one by the way. I also picked up some of the Sun Quench Summer Fruit Squash. I picked up two of these actually because I drink this all the time. So yeah, needed two. Next, another favourite of mine if you like fizzy things, the Vive Orange Sugar Free is sin free and it is only 2 calories per can. I decided to pick up some of the Tropical Blast just because I haven't tried it before. This is 10 calories per can and also sin free. These containers I thought were quite cool for putting cereals etc in. They are in the special buys, $4.99 and also these lunch paper bags, um, eco-friendly, $2.29 thought they were pretty cool so I just thought I'd uh, quickly show you them. So I picked up some squeezy honey as well. Now this is 46 calories per tablespoon and 3 cents per tablespoon so I picked up some of that. This end aisle I ended up avoiding because I knew that I would eat the lot if I bought any of it so yep avoided. This is the bread that I have. It's two slices for your healthy bee and it is only 86 calories per slice. 
So next, these benefit bars. I believe all of these you can have two of for your healthy bee, and they are all roughly around 60 calories. Um, my favorite is the Jaffa ones. I also found these instant oats. Now, the original are only 203 calories, um, however, nine and a half sins, but the apple and blueberry ones are 213 calories and 10 and a half sins, and the sweet cinnamon was 217 and 11 sins. So maybe it's not quite Slimming World friendly, but they are great for calorie counting if you are on the go in the mornings. Now, these Slim Well meals have been an absolute godsend for me. My absolute favourite is the chicken chow mein one, um, which is 408 calories and two sins. I believe most of them are around one or two sins for the entire pack, and you do get quite a big portion with them as well. So really rate these. Well done, Aldi. The uh, Yorkshire puddings that I usually use are these ones. They are 51 calories each and they are two and a half sins. They go on my Sunday dinner every single week. Next, I found some of these plant menu uh, vegetable fingers. Now they are 76 calories each or three and a half sins. Great if you are vegan. And also these crisp bakes, which are 220 calories each and seven sins. An absolute staple for me is having frozen veg just so that I can avoid having uh, waste as much as possible. I tend to buy frozen vegetables. And next I picked up a bottle of wine, which um, I didn't check the calories or the sin value for, sorry. But let's face it, if I'm on the wine, I'm definitely not counting. Next I picked up some of the garlic and herb fish. These are 197 calories or four sins and the lemon and parsley is 207 calories and five and a half sins. Now these ice coolers, great for the summer, are 64 calories and only three sins each for both the apple and blackcurrant and the cola ones. I also then spotted this white chocolate and raspberry ice cream which was only 375 calories for the entire tub um, so yeah definitely couldn't resist not putting that in my uh, trolley um, but it is four and a half cents per 56 grams I then also found the Slimwell chips I've definitely tried these before and they are nice and um, they are sin free and 124 calories per 100 grams these hash brown waffles are also very nice. They're 128 calories per four waffles and one sin each. So I picked up some of those. I also picked up some crumpets for my breakfast. These are 98 calories each and five sins each. And then I also picked up some of the sandwich thins. Now I thought these were your healthy bee, but apparently not. Um, but they are 98 calories each or they are four and a half sins each. And that is the end of my Aldi shop for this week. So yeah, back off to the car I go. Right, so I am back in the car now. Oh, honestly, why is food shopping like such a like a chore? I don't know. Like I love it, but I hate it at the same time. Um, yeah. So I ended up picking up a few extra bits which I didn't intend on picking up. Um, but you know, these things happen. Yeah, so I'm just going to drive home now and I'll catch up with you when I get home. So that is the end of this video. I really hope that you did enjoy it. Um, like I said at the beginning, if there is a shop that you want me to go shopping in, if you want me to find some like low calorie snacks or um, just do my general shopping in, then uh, just comment below where you shop and where you think it would be good for me to go and check out. So yeah, I'm going to pop all this lot away now. Um, if you did enjoy the video, then please give it a thumbs up and go and hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to be notified for when I upload next, then you can hit the bell as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.